You know, Martin, uh, I, uh, James Bond collectibles have become a big business. Uh, memorabilia from, from sure, the old from movies. The old. What kind of special security did you have on the set to prevent things from uh, being stolen? Oh, I'll tell you a funny joke. The statue park scene. We had statues the size of huge, huge statues. We set the whole thing up. I was due to sh shoot the following day. And it was on the lot. And we came back, and one of those statues was missing, the biggest one, which was probably about twice the size of this room. And how someone picked that up, threw it over the fence, and took it away, I'll never know. But uh, <laughs> it certainly disappeared. And uh, you know, so things did tend to disappear, of course. But uh, yeah. uh, we managed to ha hold on to most yeah. of it. Yeah. So what kind of things did you keep from the movie as uh, personal mementos? Do you know, I kept, what have I got? Probably a personal memento were the corns I got on my feet when I actually <laughs> was charging around those wet concrete floors that we had at Leavesden. Um, not a lot, really, just kind of photographs. I don't like keeping mementos. Oddly. I'm not a memento person. I kind of like to do it and forget it and start something new. You know, in the late 80s, I had the, uh, the great pleasure of going to uh, Leningrad, uh, which is, ah, of course, St. No, no, St. Petersburg, yes. Beautiful city. I know a lot of changes in uh, Russia the last few years. What were some of the unanticipated headaches you got about uh, your plans to shoot over there? I think the, um, you always worry about the weather. I think dealing with the bureaucracy is a real problem. We were very worried about the, if you will, I suppose, the mafia, so on and so forth. Well, of course, none of that actually came to be. We, we were there for, um, or indeed the second unit was there for 10 days, actual shooting. That was the part of the tank chase and so forth. Um, and uh, I certainly would have allowed us to do it, but they were very kindly did so. And um, uh, it, it was mainly the bureaucracy and uh, you know, dealing with, with uh, the Russian system really was the, well, was the problem. You know, when it's announced that you're going to be directing a James Bond motion picture, do you find yourself getting input from just about every corner, every James Bond fan wants uh, to give his uh, two cents worth about uh, what you, should be in the movie? Do you know, ironically, you don't. You don't nobody, um, uh, you get very little. I, I must say there were a lot of requests for the Aston Martin. That was the, you know, people wanted to see that Aston Martin again. And I deliberately, you know, I wanted it back because I just wanted a kind of real button back to the past, that, you know, this classic kind of English car. Um, you know, was still there, and that uh, it was the Aston Martin. Everybody, in fact, that that's one of your collectibles, isn't it? The Aston Martin was one of the probably the most um, treasured uh, item that people could uh, collect, and uh, so there was that, and uh, sort of harking back to the old, uh, to the old Bond. You know. uh, personal thrills for you, uh, directing uh, Desmond Leland Q. Uh, how is that for you? I think a thrill. I think, yeah. I mean, he's as you well know, he's gone back to the. Um, he's been there the length of time of Bond. He's seen all the Bonds come and go, <laughs> playing Bond. And you've probably interviewed him, so you know what sort of a marvelous guy he is. You know, quirky as well, and of course can't handle a gadget to save his life. <laughs> it's totally hopeless with anything me mechanical. You know. You notice that the the crew was especially deferential. You to bet, him? and not only that, they. I mean. Uh, it was uh, to hell with Piers. It was all sort of <laughs> let's get to, let's get our photo taken with uh, Desmond. <laughs> you know, it was quite funny, including me. I have to say, the, the uh, another classic James Bond shot is the gun barrel scene at the beginning. Sure, uh, different version for the trailer. Uh, how much excitement on your part? Well, I, you know, I think it was very important to keep certain elements to the old Bond films. One was that. I think it's a signature, and I think everybody goes, wow, you know, we're back in Bond territory. I think the other is the main title sequence. While Morris Binder, who invented those, yeah. you know, created those, that style of title, um, I had somebody, uh, Danny Kleinman, did a brilliant job at sort of recreating that sort of feel to it. They look marvelous, and also there are elements in there that tell you a little bit about the story, you know, Russia, um, disintegrating the whole, you know, the Russian political system. So, so, so there's that kind of motif in the uh, credits as well. And one final question: We're doing a sidebar story on movie posters, uh -huh. uh, how the different mock-ups that come up before a final version. Uh, what kind of different posters have you seen for this movie before they decided on a final version? Well, I hate to disappoint you. I saw very little because I was either working or and. Uh, in fact, there's a one up on Sunset at the moment, but is, there are two different versions. I think there are two billboards, which uh, one is with Pierce holding the gun, very, very close. That I saw, but this I never saw until 
there it is. I never even saw the uh, roughs of that. 